Hey guys, pretty funny. Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, his name is Marcel, What's up? and for the beer of the today, Marcel brought a really awesome looking growler of Doc Perdue's Boxing Bruin IPA by the Cowbell Brewing Company. Oh yes, these guys are located in, was it Blythe or something? Blythe, Ontario. Blythe, Ontario. Yeah. Apparently the brewery is amazing. Marcel's oh, been raving about it since he got here. <laughs> yeah. And apparently this IPA is really good. And this just makes this growler leagues above the other ones. Let's get into this. Yeah. Like, that's 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 one of the most satisfying things that you can do right there. All right. Pour yours first. Oh yes. It's a nice looking IPA. I gotta say, hey, hey, yep. oh, beautiful. That's a nice pour. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it twice. I believe in you. I believe in you! Random South Park reference. Oh, yeah, that's a shitty walk. I think I popped this all, like it popped itself all the way up. There we go. I popped it too hard. Real good. Oh, like that. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll get into that. Oh my. See, so it has that very. That has a really nice tropical, fruity, punchy aroma to it. Oh, let's give that a shot. Hell yes. Wow. Oh my god. That has got a, like the, the fruity, punchy, mm -hmm. hoppy. What's well, like a hop bomb fruit bomb? Well, let's do this. Cheers, Marcel. And cheers to all of you. Cheers, Cowbell. Oh. Mm. That is a tasty, tasty IPA right there. You got a little saying on the back here. No, it's just. Or just no, thank you for purchasing fresh cowbell beer filled using our state-of-the-art Pegas system. Left unopened, your beer will remain delicious for 30 days. Once opened, enjoy within one day. Cheers! Fair enough. And the machines they had there were the um, same ones that they have that stack. It goes into its own little area and it's inserted. And because it's pop top, it's going to gain its freshness. This is apparently like having it just out of their taps, like just out of a keg. It's really good. And Marcel pointed out that this was brewed 10 days ago. Like, that is one of... Uh, New Ontario, I've had beer there right out of the bright tank. Yeah. So that's the freshest beer I've ever had. But this is probably the freshest IPA I've ever had. Well, these come... If not one of. Right out of the bright tank as well, essentially. Oh, wait. No, the, uh, the vlog that was lost from Stack Brewing at the Elgin Street Beer Festival where I tried their uh, their cask expansion sour IPA that was like, well, they had another flavor in it. Blood Orange. That was probably the freshest IPA because they just tapped the cask. But this would be sick. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. What's the ABV? 6.3. 50 IBUs. I believe it. Not super, super bitter, just, just nice, lingering, kind of a resiny, dank mouthfeel to it. It's delightful. Um, and also, their website is rather delightful. Cowbellbrewing.com. You know what, actually, if I go like this, I, I feel like I want to reload the page for you. Oh no, it, it reloads itself, never mind. I just thought it was really cool. There's a beer porn in the background. Ratings untapped. We have a total of 149. So this is not really out there yet. I, I think I've reviewed two beers by this by these guys. Yeah, Doc Purdue's Bob and Cats. the Absent Landlord. Yeah. I don't think I was a huge fan of the Absent Landlord, but this is also fantastic. This is delightful. All of the delightful. 
Like I said, as soon as she put the flight down in front of me, I, it was... Oh, I love that citrus. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. Uh, as I even say, 3.83 out of 5 overall. It being untapped. Nobody probably said anything overly impressive. Not bad. Bit of cat. What? It, it's got a little bit of cat flavor. Some people just... Their, their brains don't work properly. Oh look, it's bueno. That's a picture. Nicely balanced. Firm, but not overpowering. Firm? That's a firm beer. The wind chimes in the brewery. Their cowbells. That's cool. Uh, like I said, the whole building is absolutely breathtaking. The combination of like... It looks like an old wood barn in the inside. All finished wood. And the contrast of their silver brewing setup all behind the bar and all around you. You see all the pipes and the steel walkways above. And I, it actually reminds me somewhat of your apartment, to be honest. With the industrial, with the wood and the blend of architectural styles. Nice. Mm-hmm. It was the only one I had a pint of after my flight. Oh yeah. Beer was not found on Rate Beer. Although, I'm just gonna try looking for Cowbell IPA instead of the Boxing Bruin. See what it comes up. You should read the write-up. The write-ups on the website. All we found here is Abby Braggett IPA, which is not this beer. And Beer Advocate, one person rated it, there isn't even a review, and they only gave it 2.5 out of 5. But, I can most definitely cowbellbrewing.com and we'll find the beer on the website and then we can read some fancy stuff about the beer itself. Yeah, that's a good time. Beer. Founders Series, Renegade Founders. Series. Founders Series. Kelly's Contraption is a New World Hefeweizen. Yeah, the Country Kolsch. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. a huge fan. Kolsch in general is a really kind of hit or miss style for me. Outrageously hoppy and classically bitter, Boxing Bruin is a true IPA. Five unique hops and a touch of Belgian candy syrup create a burst of vibrant tropical aromas and flavors of lime, mango, and lychee. I think that's a lychee. The body is smooth with focused bitterness and a refreshing finish. That is weird. Belgian candy syrup. Mm-hmm. I guess it would be a traditional ingredient in beers from, like, Bavaria. An IPA is an acceptable one from that area. It is nice. I'm not really getting much... I don't, I don't know what the lychee is, but yeah, I'm definitely getting some mango. The barfly was very good. The brayfly, brayfly, you mean? Brayfly, yeah. Nitro oatmeal stout. Different. Nitro beers, usually, I'm usually they're, they're they're like Guinness is a nitro beer, yeah. and they're usually flat, I find, kind of, and they just really. So Shindig is their like standard lager that's not in any LCBO for whatever reason. They've got Mc McNall's Mission as a honey brown ale. And Shindig's real and good. Shindig, which is. Or like standard beer. Like you want a beer, that's what you get. And I had so we the molasses porter and they've done ten renegade series beers. What was the other one they had? The Paradise Lime Wheat beer. No. Barley wine. Vanilla barley wine. Oh. Weird. Drink stout. Yeah, they all look good. Is there pictures of the brewery that we can show the Maybe. The world? Maybe. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I feel like it Not a lot, but I can... I feel like it doesn't do it justice. If you go to, like, learn more about the kitchen restaurant, the picture's there. You can see the... See the brewery, it's quite the impressive structure right there. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the kitchen doesn't show much at all. That's what it looks like inside. Oh, it's Henry's Hall. Interesting. Well, there's a 
bunch of different places. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a building. Yeah. Well, they did similar to like uh, Highlander. Highlander. Yeah. They built something for the community. There's not a whole lot there. So, I think the nearest brewery would be either Stonehouse or uh, Half Hours on Earth, Stratford. Mm, or no, uh, Seaforth and then maybe Black Swan in Stratford. But the, other than those three, like that's what's down there. So all quality. Is that radio? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink number the last. Mm. Mm. Cowbell Brewing. Your the hell was it? Doc Box, Perdue's Boxing, Boxing Brewing. Brewing. Boxing Brewing. So I guess that would be a reminds me of like a Cecil's restaurant here in North Bay. Cecil was apparently he's like a legendary figure and he used to fight bears. Boxing Brewing. It's a bear. Rating on that. That's a ten. It really is. It's delicious. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, 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 I, that's a great IPA. It really is. Really good IPA. And dates there, and it's a growler, so there's not going to be ingredients on it. But I'm sure if Marcel had asked for an ingredients list, they would have given yeah, him an ingredients and list. I'm sure you can get them right on the website. Yeah. Too. So, yes, you're ready. Um, yeah. IPAs aren't my favorite brew type like they are yours. They're great beer. It's a good beer. It's like, it's a nine as far as IPA goes. It's like a ten. There you go. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks again for bringing this, man. No problem. Awesome. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks again for coming. Mm -hmm. If you liked the video, smash the like button. You want to see more of my videos? Smash the subscribe button. You got something to say to me or to him? Put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Nice, nice. We'll put this in the fridge and have some more after. Word. It's pretty good stuff. Word. Word. There you go.